In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get every single skin and emote with a private server and this is working on the latest version of Fortnite. This will be useful for creating things like TikToks, YouTube videos, and just showing people unreleased and OG skins that you want to show them and it's really useful for leaking as well. So before I show you guys that, we're super close to 45,000 subscribers. We're like literally 90 subscribers away. So if you guys have not already subscribed, help us get to that goal of 45,000 subscribers. Hopefully we can hit that in the next couple of days and that'd be really, really amazing. So to download this, you wanna join the official Cloud Discord server. Link will be in the description and it should say Cloud V2 up here. If it doesn't say that, you're in the wrong Discord server. And then once you're in this Discord server, head on over to the main channel right here. So once you're in the main channel, just scroll up a little bit and then you wanna go over here and you wanna download the elevation.zip file and then it should download just like this and now what you want to do is right click on it and then you want to click on extract here and then it'll extract to a folder like this so now you have this you have a couple files in here so what you want to do is open up the cloud launcher.exe right here and then it'll pop up with something like this. So it'll ask you for an email and a password. So to get these to sign up for an email and a password, you wanna go back into the server and then you wanna go anywhere in the server and you wanna do C sign up and then you wanna type in the username you wanna use. So mine will just be like video. And then once you've done that, you can go over to the DM that it sends you and it'll give you an email and a password. So now that you have these, you can just copy these or just type them in to the video and password areas, just like this. And then once you've done that, you can click on launching the private server. So just click on this and it'll launch it up for you. So now once you're into here, you're gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna type in the email and the password. So you're gonna go back into here. You're gonna copy over the email. And then you're gonna copy over the password. And then once you've pasted those two in, you wanna click on login. And then it'll log you into Fortnite. And if it says something like incorrect password or anything like that, you can go back into the server and create an account for yourself. But right now it is working for me. So now that you're into the cloud private server, it'll look like something like this. It'll have all of this stuff. It'll say that you have level 100 and some random amount of XP. And then if you go over to your locker, you'll have every single skin in the entire game. If you scroll through it, and you also have some unreleased skins as shown by the placeholders right over here. And these are skins that'll never be actually released and you can't ever get in the real game. And then you can just scroll down here and then if you want to see the current and leaked skins that are going to be put in the item shop in the next coming weeks or so, you just want to type in chapter 2, season 7 into the search bar. And then it'll show you all the current and leaked skins for the current season. So you can become the Thanos skin, which already released, but is pretty new. And I'm not sure if these are leaked or if they've released yet. And then you'll also see that you have every single backpack. Same thing goes for this. You'll have all the leaked ones and some of them that were never in the game if they have the placeholder. And then you also have every pickaxe, which you can show, including the FNCS pickaxe. And that one's going to be called the Axe of Champions, pretty sure. And you can see it's right here. This is the FNCS pickaxe, so you can equip that one. And then you got every single emote. So same thing goes for this one, like the skins. Uh, you'll have unreleased emotes and different emotes that will never be released if they have a placeholder like these two. And then if you go back over here, you'll have the gliders, which you actually can't see in the lobby. And you also have the contrails. You can also use built-in emotes on any skin that you want. So let's say you want to use this built-in skin that's usually only supposed to be for Beast Boy. You can use that on the foundation skin and you can become Beast Boy with this skin, which is kind of weird, but it's still pretty cool that you can use any emote on any skin that you want, even if they're built-in emotes and you normally can't do that. And if you want to see every single built-in emote, just type built-in in the search bar and you'll be able to see every single built-in emote that you can do on any skin that you want. And since you're logged into the cloud bot, you can do all these commands on it. So these will be used only if you want to use them. You don't have to do anything but you can change the V-Bucks by doing this change V-Bucks command. You can change the level, you can change the username, email, password, and you can also delete your user. 
And then if you want to change the background of your game, you can go over here, you can change the background with all of these commands as well. And again, make sure you're sending these in the Cloud Creator Bot's DMs. Here are some fixes if the private server is not working for you. So the first thing you can do is you can go over to the main channel and you'll see there's two downloads. The first one's for Node and the second one is for .NET Core. You need to have both of these installed and working for this private server to work. So if it's not working for you, make sure you install both of these and make sure that they are working. The second thing that could go wrong is that it did not detect where your Fortnite path is. If it does not detect where your Fortnite path is, you want to type in a custom Fortnite path over here if it did not put in the correct one when you started up the game. As always, thank you guys so much for watching the video and hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video if you've not already and I'll see you guys in the next one.